thinking that they could, uh, as a special kind of, it could open it, obviously with really good real ale, but also open it as a special kind of gastro pub <laughs> with exotic cheese recipes. Yes! <laughs> now, I'm sure many, most of you are familiar with the kind of cheese we're talking about here, so I just do the poem. And, um... <laughs> I thought perhaps it was a slug. Maybe a decomposing rug or some huge condom clogged with clag. It's Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. A mad bacteriologist's dream where Bell and Boursin reign supreme. And even bedbugs puke and gag. It's Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. The outside festers, and within, the inside's grey as Major's skin. A quilted dustbin, or a rag. It's Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. No laundrette has crossed its path. Folk vomit in its aftermath. There's notebooks and a railway mag in Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. A camel's foreskin. <laughs> By compare. Smells sweeter than the alpine air. I'll tell you this, I'd never shag in and Joseph in Porter's sleeping, sleeping bag. bag. So he made him put it in the washing machine. And I wrote this poem. Stung by these words so rudely bald, to Protex old machine it crawled. A scene too gruesome to be screened the day the sleeping bag was cleaned. Industrial agent was fetched, the traumatised appliance wretched. Inside a sewer slowly sloshed, the day the sleeping bag was washed. A tidal wave of helmet breed flowed festering towards the sea, and in it plague rats gaily preened the day the sleeping bag was cleaned. The feated futon's foreskin fetter caused many an angry Greenpeace letter. First Axon Valdez, now this, the day the hot point took the piss. And now the horrid thing is clean and lilac smelling and pristine. There's still no way I'll ever shag in <laughs> Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. bag. But today I'm going to do the third part of the trilogy too. Because Joseph met his wife, Annie, in a, I'd say this is genuinely true once again. This is genuinely true. This is the state of how Joseph met his wife, Annie, with whom they now have two kids. Um, they have two kids together and they play together in Blythe Tower. The tale, I, and this is completely, literally true. The tale I know impart to you, improbable perhaps, but true, concerns a dame who asked one day to breathe the quokish quilt's bouquet. She did not flinch as bad came near, but sniffed without a hint of fear. Somehow, the suppurating sack became an aphrodisiac. <laughs> Unfathomable chemistry, a miracle of alchemy. Repository of sweaty scrotum, now turned into a lover's totem. Bestow upon the happy pair a garland of gonad griere. For now they sleep, all safe and snug, beneath this rank rim rockafort rug, united. Hail the glorious bag, beatify its sacred clag, and hang it stuffed in oaken case above the nuptial fireplace. Thank you very much for listening, everybody. Lovely, lovely view. And um, hope to see you in the playoffs. All the very best. Good night.